morning, afternoon, evening people. So, not down the allotment today, I'm in the kitchen. I wasn't going to go down there and film this down the allotment, however, it's a bit cheeky out there, the weather. It's windy, it's spitting, um, it's a little bit chilly. So, I thought I'll just do it in the kitchen. I've got some jobs to do. I've got a pallet collar raised bed to put in, but I need to remove a stump to get that put in. So I think I want to crack on with that tomorrow. Uh, that will be on film, so if you want to see that, just hit that subscribe button. Anyway, I've got my seed stash. So I'll just quickly sort you through what I'm going to be planting in February. The reason I'm doing it this way, and not just planting to get and film and put on video, is because I'm going to do videos of some of this stuff, but I will publish the video after the seeds have germinated and been planted on. So I don't want you then coming back and say, oh Tony, you could have told me in February what you're planting. So I thought I'll tell you now, so you can get the stuff on yourself. Now the first thing I'm planting in February is peas and beans. Now these are just a normal snap pea. We like to eat peas in this house, we eat a lot of peas. So we're preserving those and freezing them all through the season for the rest of the year. And then we go on to beans. Now we'll do experiment with beans. Yeah, these are haricot beans. So you know when you go to the shop, you buy a tin of baked beans. Generally, they are haricot beans. These are the most popular bean. Even though you might not have heard of them, if you have or not. So, got half a kilo of haricot beans there. Shop bought as an ingredient. And then I've got haricot bean seeds. Now these were a lot more expensive than these. I think these were five pound for half a kilo. 1.1 pound beans. These were something like one pound thirty for probably 150 grams of beans. So I'm planting these alongside each other and to just see is it worth buying seeds or is it worth just planting shop bought beans? Will they perform the same? I don't know, but we're going to find out. So that's another video that's coming. That'll probably be out in March time, I think. I'll plant these this month, see how well they both germinate against each other. Probably publish the video in March. Okay, so next barrier on the list cauliflower. So, cauliflower seeds, we're going to germinate them in February indoors on a windowsill, get them to be nice big strong seedlings and we're going to plant them out in March under cover with a fleece. Same thing Brussels sprouts. Now these sprouts I've got here are a Cypress F1. My first time growing them but we're going to give those a go. Next thing is cabbage. So cabbage again, planted indoors on the windowsill. Nice strong seedlings, all those brassicas are then going to go out in March, covered with fleece, get a nice good head start for an early harvest of brassicas. Okay, the next thing I'm planting in February, and some people may find this a bit controversial, but I'm planting tomatoes in February. Why, you say? Well, a couple of reasons. Firstly, is the way that I grow the tomatoes. Planting them early gives me a good advantage over that. That is another video that will be coming. But over time, tried and tested, I've tried planting tomatoes at different times of the year and I've found that February is the best time to get your seedlings on. Again, indoors, on a windowsill. I'm growing two varieties this year. I'm growing a Crimson Crush which is an F1 hybrid, which I have grown before. And I'm growing a tomato, I can't remember the, the name of the variety, variety, but it's a big, nice, chunky, beefy tomato. So there's two varieties I'm growing. I'm not borrowing with cherry tomatoes this year. Last two years I have, I'm not gonna bother this year because I'd rather have nice, decent sized tomatoes rather than hundreds of little tiny cherry ones. However, they are nice. So that's what I'm planting in February. I will be down the lot tomorrow, getting the job done. That video will probably be out the day after tomorrow, whenever you're watching this. So tune in for that, hit subscribe. If 
you want to see more gardening, growing veg, uh, vegetable videos, head to the uh, Growing Vegetables Gardening channel library, which is here. If you want to see more videos, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.